New tonight, the self-proclaimed pothead princess, Kayla Mendoza, wants to have her prison sentence drastically reduced. In May, a judge sentenced her to 24 years for killing two women in a drunk driving wrong way rack. And tonight, CBS 4 News obtained a letter Mendoza sent to the judge. CBS 4's Terry Codd is live near the Sawgrass Expressway where the crash happened with the emotional reaction from the parents of the victims. Carrie. Eric, it was here in November 2013 that Kayla Mendoza got on the Sawgrass Expressway driving the wrong way, eventually killing Caitlin Ferrante and Marissa Catronio. Since then, the victims' families have endured unbearable pain and suffering. Tonight, they called this letter that Mendoza sent to the judge asking for that significant reduction in her prison sentence appalling. Less than three months ago, Kayla Mendoza learned she would spend 24 years in prison for driving drunk the wrong way on the Sawgrass Expressway and killing Marissa Catronio and Caitlin Ferrante. No matter how much time passes, I'm going to live with that in my heart every day. Mendoza apologized at her sentencing, and now she's apologizing again in this letter to Judge David Hames, asking for a sentence reduction of more than 50 percent to just 10 years in prison. I'd like to get out and be involved in Mothers Against Drunk Driving with the victims' families, Mendoza wrote. I can't bring back the lives I took, but I can, if I'm allowed, help save lives. I don't ever want another family to be broken like the families that have been broken because of me, she wrote. I've learned that choices are not accidents. I'm owning up to my poor choices and asking for a chance to show you that I can and am ready to make the right choices. Mendoza says she plans to take substance abuse classes and work to earn money to pay restitution and the money she owes the victims in their civil lawsuit. Please, Your Honor, she wrote, give me a chance to try and fix things. She can't fix things. Caitlin's mother, Christine Ferrante. How could she bring back Marissa and Katie? That's fixing things, and she can't do that. Ferrante and Gary Catronio, Marissa's father, learned of the letter on Wednesday. They're stunned at Mendoza's request just months after she landed in prison. Our daughters don't have the option of saying, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in an urn. I don't want to be in a casket. And she has the nerve to say that that she's learned her lesson. If the system even considers something like this, I have no, I have no respect. I have no, no respect for this system that, that, that we have called justice. Catronio says Mendoza's actions left them with a lifetime of heartbreak. He says Mendoza needs to serve her punishment for the crime she committed. Do your time. You did the crime. Leave us alone. Leave the Band-Aid on our wound and let it heal, which it never will. Here's what happens next. Judge Hames has asked prosecutors to respond to Mendoza's request within about three months. I also spoke with Mendoza's lawyer. He told me he was not aware of the letter that Mendoza sent it on her own. I spoke with some legal experts in Broward. They say it's highly unlikely that a judge would reduce a defendant's sentence based on a letter like this, especially in such a high-profile case. Live in Coral Springs, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank you. Today, a